All right, hello YouTube, this is JV. Um, sorry if that was a little bit too fast of a moment. I don't have a zoom yet. But, um, so today I'm going to make a video of my extremely homemade trebuchet. Um, I built this a good while back. Uh, I've neglected to take a video, but now I finally have an iPhone, so yeah, I can be making a lot more videos. Um, basically this trebuchet consists of wood, as you can tell. Basically these, I've taken these leftover scrap pieces of wood and put them all together. Um, these pieces of wood right here to right there are nine feet tall. Um, let's see, the original... I mean, the original arm, length of the arm used to be to right there, but I joined it back together. Um, so now, with the extension on the arm and this rope, during mid-throwing point, when the rope is fully extended, it is 32, wait, 31 and one half inches tall. Um, got some guy wires for support. Um, for my weight, I use an old log, uh, one of two boat anchors, and an old excavator tooth. Um, off a bucket. So, I'm sorry if I'm very inconsistent. But, the guy wires, um, this is all a piece of, like, header board. This is a lot of leftover construction scrap when we had an addition built. Um, this is, like, some sort of safety locking mechanism. So I want to hold it down. But right now, I basically just use a pole with these weights and then a string to pull it. But, um, one thing I really want to go over in this, you know, and this is from experience. You, one thing you absolutely have to put on the trebuchet is this little rod right here with this. So right here, this is like a little like cable thing that I welded shut and tied a rope to. And see the key thing is if you tie both of your ropes to this, which I did at first, um, when it goes up it will only release so many times. Most of the time it will just stay in the pouch. But what this does is if you've ever seen or heard of an old school slingshot where basically you sling it around and release one of the ropes that's what this does when it gets in mid throwing point the weight carries it up and this one rope slides off and it's basically like an old school slingshot and then it releases it forward so one thing um this right here your length from here down can vary on when it releases so like i did one earlier and it only threw it a little bit and then i adjusted it sometimes it'll go near that pine tree I mean, it really, it, it really just depends on that, but that is very, that is crucial. You have to have that. Um, but my, oh yeah, and another thing, this, don't be, don't be surprised if it's not very impressive because it should be this big. It should be able to launch something well back there, but it's only been able to launch something between here and here for right now. So, also sorry for the shaky video. But, uh. I think I've gone over everything. I mean, this was actually practically for me free to build. The only thing I had to buy was screws to hold the two by fours together. But um, it's pretty simple, actually. So, let's see, I'm gonna fire it, and just as a heads up, if it something does not fire right, I'm sorry. This is, like I said, a homemade device, and things go wrong. So I've test fired it. So be prepared. Alrighty, in three, two, one. See, I hope I captured in mid throwing point how that slid off. But you can see right now how it's dangling all the way down here. And see, the length of that really depends. Like earlier, I adjusted because I thought I had too long and it only went too far right here. But now that I've did a little, another little adjustment, went to right here. And then earlier, and then a, a second time when I did it, I got it to go right here. So. Yeah, it really all depends on that. It basically just depends, you know, on your weight ratios and your the length of that little rod. It, there's a lot of different specs. Um, again, sorry if I'm inconsistent. I'm not really, have been doing videos for long. Um, oh yeah, and another thing. This, this pole right here. I drilled a one inch hole. And this is like just a leftover like stake, metal stake. What I did, for one, so it wouldn't do this, because I'm can't get real precise like that it's hard i took a piece of one inch pipe and hammered it in there so then that kind of gives it a better um like evens it out the only thing if you want to you can squirt something like grease or oil in there and i think 
that would probably make it throw easier, I would guess. Um, one thing though, be careful when you where you level, because you can see it's not very level, so it slides. But um, then I know in future videos this is gonna be crazy coming from me, but just as so I don't get in trouble or a warning, just um, you know, be careful where you're throwing it. I'm not responsible for any injuries that happen because of my video, but you know, just take general common sense. But I know in my later vi in my videos that are to come, you're gonna think I'm crazy for saying that, but. Alright, well thank you. I hope to upload more videos. Once again, I finally have an iPhone, so I can upload a lot more videos. I'll talk to you later. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, etc, etc. Bye.